All right, we're going to start here with uh, an explanation of using the Epson Perfection V37. As you can see on the screen here already, we've started the Epson, or the Epson Scan software, which came with the computer. So go ahead and we'll, we're not going to explain the installation of that. It's fairly straightforward. When you install it and run it for the first time, this is what you'll see. And so you see that they've defaulted to the home mode. We're going to go over to the professional mode. and We'll set this up from scratch on the first shot. So pull it into the screen here. And so we'll see here, we won't worry about the setting at the moment. Our document is reflective as opposed to film. Document source is the, the scanner table. Uh, they also have another, uh, in this case there's no other options, but they use the software for the things. Forget about auto exposure type for the moment. Our color is 24-bit color. In this case, we're going to use 4800 DPI, which it remembers because I just opened it a minute ago. But um, And so we'll get to the rest of this a little bit. I've got it set up for millimeters already um, and 100% scale. Those should all be the defaults. So when you want to go, uh, or when you go into this, you'll want to go into configuration, go right to color, and choose no color correction. We don't want the software making decisions. We want to get all of the raw color that we can off of the scan. So this will keep the software from making decisions for you in the background. So we'll click OK on that. And we'll go ahead and hit preview here. And that'll give us the preview screen. This is going to be where we're going to do preview runs pretty quickly. So we're going to take a step back here and you're going to see that the scanner has been prepared already. We've created some zones to make it easier to lay the cards on because once we set the scan zones that you'll see in a minute you can just continue to lay cards like this set here on the platen then re-record using the, scan, the same scan zones. This saves a lot of time. You'll see I've already taken the liberty of putting eight cards on there. At this point we need to go ahead and create some scan zones. Uh, for the procedure I want, we want to run today, we want to run two millimeter scans. You can do any size you want, or I'm sorry, two centimeter scans. You can do any size you want, but we're going to use two centimeters, so or 20 millimeters. And so you can do multiple scan zones in these, and this is kind of nice. Um, and so the order in which you put the scan zones in is the order in which they will scan. So we now have two scan zones of two centimeters square, 20 millimeters square a piece. And so we'll continue be able to continue on doing this. I won't we won't bore you with the uh, with the entire process here. You can move, once you've got a scan zone, you can move it around. Um, you don't want to be off the card, but you, you want to try and have them move it around so that you get different, uh, different sections of the card. And in this case, we've taken cards that were folded in the middle so that we, uh, we, had, we could sample both sides. So the left side here is the top. The right side here is the bottom for all of these particular sampler cards. Um, so you can kind of see Right now we can see the scans, but uh, you're not always going to know what your cards look like because once we set these scan zones up, uh, you can just keep putting new cards in. You'll see that in a second. So, so we'll continue on here and build the rest of our scan zones. And 20 by 20. Okay, we'll be back in a second with the rest of these done. All right, so you can see here uh, over the course of the last minute or two, we've put the rest of the scan zone in, and we're in the last of the scan zones here. So these are all 20 millimeters square. We could go out and do as many as uh, uh, 20 scans, or if you had different shaped cards, you could cut them into smaller pieces and put uh, a finer grid on here, and you can do as many scan zones as you want. Um, that's the case with the Epson, uh, with the Canon that we'll explain in the other video, uh, you have a little bit more of a limitation there. So at this point we'll go ahead and click, by clicking the All button, we have selected that we actually want to scan all of these sequentially. And so we review this, We none of these buttons are selected, that's good. All of our settings are still good, that's good. And we can go ahead and hit Scan. 
I want to make a quick tip here. When you preview, if you see any shadowing or, or curling at the edge of your sample cards, put a book or something heavy on the platen to push them hard against the glass. That'll give you a more precise scan. Okay, now back to saving. And so that gives us the file save routine. You'll see here I've specified a specific folder I want to put these scans into. You can put them anywhere you want. Uh, you can label your series anything you want. We'll just use their default image. Uh, I ran some of these images already, so I'm going to start later on, or I'm going to start uh, where I left off in the series. We want to use TIFF. Uh, you have lots of options here, but TIFF is the option that you want to use. Just plain old TIFF. This is uncompressed. That basically means all of your data is there without any loss. Um, you can decide whether or not you want to overwrite or write any files of the same name. In this case, we'll say no. And the rest of these are clicked default. Um, yes. And you can decide whether or not you need them or not. They're not terribly important. And here we go. So it's going to give you this little warning that this is going to take a long time when you scan with high resolution. And so we know that when you scan with high resolution, it's going to take a long time. So we'll go ahead and click continue. And here we go. This is going to take a little bit of time. So the good thing is it takes about two minutes per scan. So we've got about a half hour before this is done. Of course, we're not going to talk for a half hour here. But um, it has a little bit of a warm-up time that it will... Oh, now it's starting. So once you've got a scan, you can go back in and actually do the image J analysis while you're doing the scans because uh, it takes about a minute and a half or so to do each picture and it takes about two minutes to do the scans so you can actually get the, uh, the scanning and the image analysis done at about the same rate which is quite handy so once the scans are complete go ahead and save this setup by typing a name into the box in the upper left corner and then hitting save and that way, when you power up or open the software again next time, everything that you've done will be ready to go. And that'll save you a few minutes of, of setting up and keep things consistent. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for listening. Epson is a trademark of Epson America, Inc. Any other products mentioned are trademarks of their respective companies. This was produced by Application Insight, LLC.